Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double. We're gonna unbox this guy. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Oh, that's all you get. It, this was not expensive at all, okay? So when you buy something inexpensive, it's best to go in with maybe lower expectations and that way if something good comes of it, you just go, oh, great, okay, cool. I'm quite surprised. That happened with this. So I'm gonna kick over to the unboxing. I've already played this for a good couple of hours uh, the other night and knocked around with it last night for a little bit. And I mean, for 125 bucks, I'm I'm darn happy. I'm, I'm darn happy with this guitar. And it's a great mod platform, which is kind of, I guess, why we end up buying inexpensive guitars, because we don't feel bad about doing stuff to them. We're not like devaluing like our favorite Strat model or something like that. And you can really just kind of bond with something like that when you find it. I just don't think anybody really knows much about Fesley guitars. So let's take a look, all right? They have some really cool colors, kind of modern -y colors. I went a little more traditional because I wanted to go cheap specifically for the channel just to see what happens when you buy a cheap guitar. It's an S-style guitar. One of the interesting things about it is it doesn't have a pick guard. The pickups are mounted possibly directly to the body. I don't know. They could be mounted to a plate then onto the body, but I am going to take a look at it. This portion of the video will be the unboxing. I bought this. Nobody's paying me to say anything about this guitar. Let's dig in. Ooh, ah. Big box. I already pulled off some of the tape just to look and make sure it survived. And one of the cool things is it's a box and then another box. And they put some paper in there just to protect it. So let me get this out of here. I'm gonna save this box. This could be your first guitar, or this could be like, uh, no and add on to your collection clearly i have far too many look at this it comes with a bag that is not just paper thin it has like padding in there like a good millimeter or two of padding a busted zipper yeah, a little front pouch here. Did I fix it? Yep. Cheap zippers, but um, get a little front pouch. I mean, heck, this is that's a shoot, that's a good little gig bag. Not bad. All right. So well packaged. Two boxes, gig bag, some stuffy stuff. Let's see what I got in the bag oh, that's cool it doesn't zip all the way down to the back so that you won't drop it right in there Let's see what we're looking at here um and i bet there's some tools i should probably look into that bag a little bit more oh no here we go there's tools in the top of the guitar here so looks like you get a trim bar with it they all seem to have a tremolo system in this. That looks like it's going to be a push-in. Wow! That's a shock. I, I, we shall see, okay? And then it has, um, you got a couple of Allen keys here. Probably one for intonation. Probably one of those is for intonation, and one is going to be for your truss rod. Um, little switch protector. Wrapped in plastic. This is a satin finish. Looks like at least a two-piece body. You can see, because it's a satin finish, you can clearly see seam lines. Um, man. I, I mean, get ready for the old man rant. When I was a kid, you're going to get a guitar like this for 125 bucks. This, wow. Okay, so this was inspected September 2021. And these really just kind of came out this year. 
I believe they were just released on Amazon and their site this year. Um, very mild, man, I mean, very mild fret sprout. Really mild for maple neck guitar with a satin finish on the neck. The frets don't really seem to be sticking out much. Yeah, I mean, they're, it's not like they're those super rounded ones that you see on some guitars uh, of recent times. It, you know, a little more expensive than this. But you can tell they've 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 spent some time on those fret ends. The nut looks like it's pretty well cut. Close to tune. Not really. So there's the headstock. I mean it's got traditional style hardware on the back. Satin neck. You guys check this thing out with me. This is my first time looking at it, so you can look at it with me. Ooh, let's pull some plastic off. You want to do that? Oh, that's always fun. A little more back here. Nice. Okay, so first impressions. Cool. Very cool. I mean, there's no nicks in the body. Bridge is decked to the body. Okay, there I can feel these are like a little sharp. It's like a little bit sharp. So let's see, was I right? Is this a push in? Yeah, look at that. Push in. Sits in place, clears the knobs. All things that never would have happened on a $100 guitar when I first started playing, when I was 15. Neck is real clean looking. I mean, like, real clean. So it's a um, maple neck. And I believe the fretboard is also maple. Maybe I think this doesn't want to focus very well. I believe the fretboard is also maple. And I'm pretty sure this is a poplar body. Uh, and you can see it still even has plastic on the pickups. This would be for anybody that is interested in like learning how to mod or really get into projects. This really would be something fun and easy to work with. I mean, you can, you know, get right to your pickups. I imagine they were, yeah, you can just, you'd have to take, if you want to change out this one, of course, you have to change out all of them because the wiring is going to run. There's going to be a cavity through here, not even a cavity, a little access line through here for the wiring to go hit all of these. Let's pull that off of there. Solid. That thing's, you know, barely moving. I'm, it, I, it's not a wobbly little thing. You got five positions. Um, yeah. Doesn't tap that or split the humbucker. Bridge is decked to the body, so if you, you know, if you want to get into the drop D or change your tunings real quick, you don't have to worry about it. That's that's not a floating bridge, and I'll probably I'll probably leave that decked just because. I don't know. I mean, let's see. Oh, that's tough. That's a. The, it's a lot of spring tension on the bridge, so it's like you really gotta. You gotta push before it even starts moving. More plastic. You really gotta give that a good push before it starts going. And I would think these are probably some very budget pickups. But what I'll do is I'll get this thing tuned up. I'm not even gonna really clean it or do anything like that to it. I'm not even gonna try to polish the fret ends. Just gonna go ahead and and uh, just get it tuned up and play with it for a few days, and then come back here and continue the video and give you my impressions. Um, the color choices are really cool. Hey, you know what I'll do real quick? I'll show you. I'll show you my 
Charvel. There you go, look at that. So it's about the same size as a Charvel, you know, Strat style. It's, wow. Hey, look at that. Brothers in arms, right? So I, um, my nice glossy Charvel, you can see this is not reflecting the light the way that that does. Um, you know, makes for a slightly less expensive guitar. No problem. I, I like the look of a lot of satin guitars. I really like the look of that. They, hey, Fesley, good job on the finish. This thing is cool. I mean, I've 125 bucks, and for like another 25 bucks, they have some uh, slightly different colors. They have like a pink and a blue. I almost bought the blue just because it looks really cool. But like I said, I wanted to go the cheapest route I could with this thing. And you could probably change these pickup covers, make them, you know, black, totally black out the hardware on this guitar, or, you know, put a, a black cover over here, or even a chrome cover, make it look even more modern, do a chrome and then black and black, I don't know, or leave it the way it is. Those white, the white against that wood looks really good. I mean, just to give you the comparison of the colors, they did a really good job of getting colors right on this thing to make it look pretty authentic. I'm going to go ahead and tune this up and plug it in and spend a little time with it. And I'll be back with some impressions and some playing clips. Okay, after a quick look, you can hear it's just a little, a, these are fretting out like up here. It's like just a little flunk, flunky through that E and through that B, and when I give it the old eyeball test against these strings, I can see the neck is, this, so if these are the strings, okay, the neck is like kind of pulling them back. So it's the, I need to add a little relief. So first tool I'll grab is gonna be the bigger Allen wrench here. And uh, we'll walk through this together and just see if this kind of helps that and how easy we can do this. So what I wanna do is I want the strings to kind of pull that neck a little bit more. You know, I want the tension of those strings to be more reactive to the neck. This Allen wrench is already bent, so I'll probably need my own tool here. I honestly feel like I'm gonna strip that truss rod out with that tool. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm gonna go find a different tool. Okay, yeah, so, Truss rod tool they sent has a bend to it. It's really, it's soft um, and wasn't really grabbing very well. I didn't feel good about it. Plus the truss rod seemed like it was tightened up real hard. So I grabbed a slightly better tool of my own. How I did the truss rod, how I kind of fixed this. Now you can hear this is a little better. I don't even know if you can really hear that, but the frets were just kind of, it was all real sitari in those first few frets and now it's better. So I loosened the truss rod, you know, a little bit. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, ask a friend, take it to a local guitar shop, something, some place where you trust somebody or you know somebody that knows what they're doing. Basically what I did is I put it in, got it secured, made sure I had a nice solid grip in there and I loosened it. I turned the wrench away from the top of the headstock that way. So, you know, if you're looking down counterclockwise, lefty loosey, right? So I put it in there. I did that maybe a half turn, checked a little bit, and then a little bit more tuned it up to pitch. And I'm, I'm close to pitch, so now I'll just run through and just make sure that all the frets are, you know, kind of... That they don't have any dead frets, that I've got a good, good neck. Check for fretting out, you know, just make sure I can bend... Without the notes stopping. intonation to see how I mean it looks like they set it up it looks like an intonated bridge and yeah look at that the intonation on this guitar B could be a little 
it's it's a little sharp so i will need to see the harmonic of the b is giving me a nice natural b but when i fret it it's just a little bit sharp the way i remember the rule is when you fret it and if it's flat when it's fretted you move the saddle forward so three f's fretted flat forward for the saddle the other is the other i can't remember two things i only ever bother remembering one so right now i'm sharp i gotta go the other way but that's just the b string let's see g string maybe slightly have to do the same thing there d string is almost there and i mean i'm just using a tc tuner oh a string needs a little work yep you know what i did notice this was tuned to e flat this guitar was tuned to e flat and it was almost in tune when i grabbed it so they may have set this up t to, to e flat maybe i'll tune it down to e flat but yeah, it needs a little bit of an intonation but only a little bit and literally they're all a little sharp and i've done a neck adjustment so you know that's that's the learning process remember fretted flat forward i'm gonna have to go the other way with this I needed to loosen my neck a little bit so the strings pulled it you know what i mean if that truss rod that truss rod was tight so the neck was just trying to be as much of this angle as possible once i loosened it and then once i got the strings back to pitch it just kind of was just enough to bump it up here and make those first three frets just really sound their notes better on the e and the b string First things I would do to the guitar if I got, if you were to buy one of these. Um, strings are put on real well. I, I like the fact that the the chrome, the black hardware is like not real shiny. Oh, I say that and then I notice that the, the back plate is shiny. But like the knobs aren't real shiny. The switch isn't real shiny. The bridge isn't shiny. Everything's just kind of got a subtle effect to it. That's a good sounding switch. I'm looking forward to plugging this in. So I think we've got tone bridge tone and then neck and volume tone would be my guess and then probably a hmm, master volume oh and it's right at the at a good spot for uh, for you know those kind of swells but it's a stiff pot it's a little bit stiff so and it, there's your next learning thing right how to change out a volume pot put a borns in there or something like that man i mean that's good looking that's good looking i'm i'm shocked i can't wait to plug it in all right i'm gonna do that
So really, overall, my impressions are, are great. For 125 bucks, look, I can find a couple of things wrong with it. So what? I mean, if this is your first guitar, there might be a couple of things that you find frustrating. But if it's your first one, you might not even notice those kind of things. I, I, if I sound nitpicky when I point out a couple of things, trust me, it's only because I just may want you to know it. These tuners maybe have a little bit of play, but I mean, look, this is a one piece neck. Well, okay, so it's a fretboard and, a, and it, it doesn't have that scarf joint or the, you know, that it doesn't have the, a, a lot of, a lot of cheaper guitars and even some more expensive guitars have a piece of wood that is the neck and then a separate piece of wood for the headstock that is then attached to it. This is one piece back here, and then it's got a fretboard on it. And it came set up really close to the way I like it. The strings are a little light for me, um, so I'm gonna change the gauge. Um, uh, the, the, oh, okay. Again, nitpicky thing, not a really big deal. This nut slot on the low E string just, just needs to be a little bit deeper, just a touch deeper. These are the kind of things though that as a new guitarist, you should learn how to kind of check for, how to fix, how to maybe change out. Um, this is a great guitar if you want to upgrade some pickups. The pickups do not sound bad at all. They really do not sound bad. I was getting maybe brighter tones than I'm used to, maybe a little bit sharper, but they're not harmonic. They weren't squealing and feeding back on me in any way. Um, they took all of my pedals, the, all of my pedals took them great. Um, another nitpicky thing, the, the volume knob is a little stiff. Um, I would like to make, probably change that out because I like to do a lot of pinky swells, bop, bop, bop kind of thing. And it's a little tough to get that. That's just a feel thing. Um, I actually like that for the tone knobs. Uh, one thing I had to do, let's see, I had to, I had to pop the knob off and tighten the nut down on one of these the the knob kept spinning around and if that happens to you it's not broken but don't keep spinning it around pop the knob off these just pop right off you know and and that little nut right there just needed to be tightened down there's a couple special tools you can use if you don't have them it's you know an adjustable wrench will get in there just try not to mar up your finish um, speaking of the finish, because it's satin uh, like this and a real thin layer, it will wear. I'm already starting to kind of bang it around and get my finger grease on it a little bit, you know. And in time, I'll probably end up scraping some of the finish off it. It will wear and look real cool in time. Uh, you could probably dye up the neck or tint it up. I'll probably sand it down a little bit and hit it with some gunstock oil just to darken it a little, just a touch and maybe make the, the maple pop a little. There is actually, I don't think I can get it to come out in this light. There is a little bit of flaming that you could probably get to come out. There's a touch of flaming that I think you could actually get to come out with the right kind of dyes. Ah, it's not really showing up, but it's a very plain looking neck in this light because it's so washed out. But there is some striping back here. Um, you know, 
not majorly figured, but dude, really, honestly, I'm just pointing out small things that you will probably want to tend to. I'm going to loosen the springs on this tremolo system if I ever decide to go for the bar. Uh, using the bar, I've pretty much taken it off. The springs are really tight. All you would do is take this back plate off. There's going to be a claw right there that those springs are attached to, and you just loosen that thing up some until the springs don't have so much tension, and it'll make it a lot easier to, to drop the bar. Uh, a little bit of something like this, some tune it um, up here on the nuts to help keep those strings in tune. Maybe a, just the smallest little bit of the finest sandpaper, you know, like 800, 600 underneath the string tree just to smooth it out. I, I caught it a couple of times on that string tree and it jumped the, the tuning just a little bit. That's common with string trees, especially if there's a little burr under there. So I think there's just a little bit of a burr under the B string. Again, that's so nitpicky. I played this thing for hours the first night that I got it. I just had fun with it. I handed it off to a couple of friends and they were playing it. And one of my buddies was like, man, this, this neck is fun. And I said, that's the same word I used. It's fun. You just kind of just get lost in it, mess around with it. Dude, it looks good. It plays great. This thing was 125 bucks. They have the other ones that have the more modern colors. Um, just if you're looking at the pictures, the necks look a little darker than this. Okay, just some things to be aware of. Great, this is great. Fesley, 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 you guys did good. This is a, a, a really cool guitar and really up, very upgradable. Pickups right to the body. That That's just awesome, you know. I really dig that. I dig that. I dig the guitar. You guys, if you want to check it out, I'll pop the link for it down below. Again, just, just wanted to let you guys know about this. Nobody's asking me to do a video on this guitar or nobody's paying me anything. <laughs> I just wanted to give some honest opinions on uh, on this guitar. Paige loves the reviews. Loves the reviews. My air conditioning just went on, so now it's going to be a little bit noisier in here. Um, so I'm going to say uh, good night to you guys, and thank you all for being here. And um, cool guitar, Fesley. For 125 bucks, very cool. Take care. Thanks for being here at the channel, Double D Guitar. I appreciate it. It's me, Double. Peace out. Thank you. Bye.